Turkey. All I'm saying. Obviously, you know I had to change some stuff and all that fun stuff. Galatasaray fans are going to be pleased because I've brought in one of their former players, my right-hand Bosnian badman, Zvezdan Mishke. Yeah, you don't have to bring in some some Bosnian twang. I couldn't I couldn't let it go. I have to bring in my right hand, Misimovic. You know, if I had to sum up kind of how things have been going, you know, our start to Galatasaray, our start in Turkey, as Tony the Tiger once famously said, "We're great." Buyrum, welcome, merhaba, all that fun Turkish stuff, and welcome back to Unemployed to Untouchable Turkey. Turkey edition. The Turkish Turks, Turkey. Turk, Turk, Turkey. We, me and Turkey are getting along like a house that's in flames. I showed you the 8 1 against Anorthosi, Sorthosi, Anorthosi them lot the rest of it it's been pretty much kind of the same same kind of little thing other than this one little game against bodo slash glimped which didn't really matter because we um we beat him in the first leg comfortably anyway and that was just a bit of a blip we'll call it a blip i wasn't i wasn't too worried about uh any of it we've had we've had a good start to kind of life in the in the normal league as well six points two wins from two can't complain again. Genuinely, genuinely, I'm not sad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sad that I've left Cessna at all because things have been working. And do you remember that big old, big old pile of money that we had? Oh, baby, have I been spending it? Look at that. 30, <laughs> 34 million. 34 million. Oh, I mean, I mean, I think it's slightly exaggerated because most of it's filled with ridiculous incentives. So we've had some outs there, just general kind of players that I didn't want him here. <laughs> I didn't want him here. And the rest of these ones, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I've got some money to finally spend. And boy, have I been spending it. I have been absolutely ruthless. So first one I brought in is Troy Parrott. We've got him in on loan from Tottenham and he's in the last year of his contract. So hopefully I might be able to snap him up on a free in January as well. Bringing him on loan is on... I mean, look at his stats. Look at his stats and we're paying 10k a week for him. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And he's... he's landed on his feet here he's got uh one in two in the league and then kind of in the in the competitions you can see down here he's got four and four in the european so i am not complaining he's putting in work we got in jay hogarth he was kind of someone that's getting released and i didn't see him as a kind of first option but it's just nice to have there see if he can grow if not get him out of the door for a bit of a profit uh next one another loan when i looked through the team the main thing that i wanted to fix was the center mids or just general strength in depth because there wasn't anything there was just the first team and right that's it there you go guys have fun with that so i brought in alexis truly 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 he looks cracking i mean he looks proper proper good doesn't he 2k a week on loan no, absolutely nothing and uh like troy he's in the last year of his contract so i've yet to play him because he's had an injury for the last i don't know how long but he, he looks like really good kind of strength in depth and even if he's gonna play he looks really good as well next player that brought in was robert rojas from wolves uh they bought him in from uh river play and he was there for a year and they listed him for about five mil and i was in the i was in the market for another center back he has fit the bill he's he's good i'm not complaining he's a he's a little bit on the short side but he's been he's been really good another player that i brought in was a youngster ricardo garcia who is a regen i couldn't pass it up <laughs> couldn't pass it up he's got some very good potential brought him in for about one point something million Look at his stats already and he's only 18. Turkey's got some kind of weird dodgy ass rules about players and foreign players and youngsters playing in the... Yeah, I'm still kind of getting my head around it. I didn't realise until it came to the first game of the season and I started messing about with it then. But I had to loan him out to Nancy. They were offering him first team football. Get him, just get him out, get him out. 
Uh, we've got Burak here. He's just going to be a bit of backup. Uh, we've got Yusuf Sari, who is a pace merchant. And again, he's going to be another backup. And then uh, these bottom two is where the the majority <laughs> majority of the money I've blown is Salih Oschan, who I bought in from Köln. And I paid 7.5 mil plus incentives. Again, for the centre mid role between him, the next player I bought in, and Truly, and one of the players that I had pretty much at the beginning, the Galatasaray already had, I think were absolutely stacked at centre mid. And again, him as a box to box is going to be unreal, and they've been putting in work. And the player that cost the most, Yusuf Izichi. Boom. Look at him. Look at him. Look at those stats. A starting player in the Turkish national team. He was at Benfica. They wanted a shot of him. Listed him for half the price that they bought him for. I couldn't. I'm not going to say no to that. I am not going to say no to that in the slightest. And yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've had fun in the transfer window. I've slightly tinkered with my tactics. So not much. But I've just gone a little bit more attacking because... We are Galatasaray and we are massive, massive. <laughs> so yeah, again, pretty much the same thing that you saw at Cessna instead of, you know, the standard 4-4-2 and the shadow striker there. We've gone a little bit, a little bit more attacking. We've gone the two wingers on the sides, we've got a pressing forward and advanced forward, deep line playmaker, box to box mid, one wing back, one full back, two center defensive, center defenders and a sweeper keeper. Bosh. So that's that for now. You can see all these foreign and under 23s. Basically in Turkey, what you need to have in, in your starting 11, one player, or two players, sorry, that have been trained at the club between three years, between their 15th and 21st birthdays have to be in a starting 11, which I didn't realize I was going into the, <laughs> I was going into the league season thinking I could play whoever I wanted willy nilly. Wasn't the case. Luckily enough, They've got some very, very decent players that they've basically come through their own academies with Emin Bayram here, who's going to be our centre-back. Owner, who is a striker. He looks unreal. He's going to be so, so, so good. And I'm so happy to see him here because as soon as I saw these things, I was kind of on the lookout and I still am on the lookout for young young Turkish players who I can poach, bring them here, get them, get them raised at the club and kind of get them that little under 22. But yeah, just that under 22 thing and get them into the team. But this is, honestly, this is night and day difference between Cessna and I, I can't believe it. I do, I, it's such a massive leap going from absolutely nothing. Granted, the Serie A is a higher reputation, but is what it is i'm enjoying life here and i'm glad that we've taken that plunge so like i said we're in the euro cup too i was gonna bring you kind of both of these games i don't think there's any point now <laughs> because we just completely slapped a north ec a north oc 8-1 and the video is probably going to be about 40 minutes long if i bring you that second game but I might just bring you some highlights from it regardless. Um, but yeah, the game today that I'm going to bring you is Istanbul Bashak Shahir. So it is an Istanbul derby, but I don't think Gala or Istanbul actually class it as one. Regardless, I'm classing it as one. We're coming back for a derby today for our first game that you're going to see. Obviously, we've had a we've had a pretty good start, pretty good start of things. And then after that, I'll play that on our TC game and I'll bring you the draw for the Euro Cup 2 group stages to see which which kind of teams we get drawn against there. So, yeah, let's jump into Istanbul Ba Shak Shahir. Well, yeah, like I've shown you before, this is more often than not going to be the starting lineup. The Agni would be starting ahead of Omer, but obviously we have to fill those quarters in, and I don't mind actually giving Owner some, some time that he deserves. Other than that, this is going to be pretty much our starting lineup for the mo for the majority of the season. So, we've got Muslera, El Abdelawi, Rojas, Emin, Lato, Yusuf, Yazici, Belhanda, Emre Kilinc, Ali Yavuz, Troy Parra and Ona. So let's get into this derby, Istanbul. I'm going to play my boy Claude Ajapong. I, who knew? 
who knew that I'd end up in Turkey and end up, play, end up playing one of my favourite players that I had in a save already. So yeah, we've got this Istanbul derby. Let's get let's get into it and see what we what we make of it. Are we going to score? Is that a penalty? Ref? Is that a penalty? Referee? Is that a penalty, my friend? Ref? Come on, VAR. You know you want to give it. Oh, no penalty. I've had two of those. When I was playing through, I've already had two. I haven't seen them once in since the time that the game's been out. And I've seen two in one day. No penalty uh, decisions, which is kind of... It's kind of weird, I don't know if they've kind of tinkered about with the VAR system in the game, but I went through Troy Parrot. Troy Parrot. Quack! Quack, quack! Troy Parrot. Troy Squawk. That's his, that's... <laughs> Troy Squawk. Quack! <laughs> Troy Squawk. Right, that's this one nail gala. <laughs> Fifth minute, Troy Squawk. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, uh, Bash at Istanbul, Bash, Bash, I don't even know what to refer him to. It's such a, such a long name. Like most of these Turkish teams, they, they like team names are so much. Well, pyro, Pyro, anybody order some Pyro? I don't know why you'll have say off you're losing 1 0. If anything, it should be our boys with the, with the black Pyro. To be fair, those are Galatas rice colours, so keep it going. Keep keep that pyro going soon. Keep it up. Berkey has got the ball into Abdul and it's Abdul. It's Aliyui. Aliyui. It's one all. Re regardless of what his name is, it's one all. Forget his name. They've scored. That's not good. I was too busy focused on the bloody pyro. Vishja played a ball. How could you do that to me? My Bosnian blood. How could you do that? And Ali, Uli, Ali, Ali, he scored. Ali scored against us. One all in 10 minutes. Whoever had both teams to score on this game on their better slip. Well done, my friend. Easy as can be. Try pirate with it. Yusuf Yazici he's found the owner. Still got it. And they've slid in and blocked it. Owner still got it though. More pyro up here. Everybody, anybody fan of pyro? I get, I get a feeling we're gonna have quite a lot of pyro in, uh, in Turkey. I don't know what, I don't know what, what it is, but we're gonna have quite a bit of pyro in Turkey. He's found Troy Parrot though. Go on, Troy. Troy Squawk. He's found Troy Squawk, and he's found uh, Mert Gunak. I don't know, like Turkish players, do they want like their full name saying, or is it just their last name, or like owner there? He's just got his first name. Some of them have got the last name, some of them have got like their mother's maiden name. It's like it's very confusing. <laughs> and we've got we've got the ball with Emery. It's a long highlight. Anything come of this, please. Go on, find Troy Squawk. Find Troy Squawk. What? Oh he, he doesn't he doesn't need Troy Squawk. He doesn't need him. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking to sub him off at half time because I want Diagne on, but I don't want Diagne on now. He's taking the P. He's taking the miss. He's, he, I can't speak. I can't. I can, do you even English? Look at that for a finish. He's taking it pretty much from the halfway line, take it around that defender, and near posted it. Sent the goalie for some pears. Well, he went for the apples. Got some half time pyro and uh, 2 1 gala at the break. And I'm not happy with your performance. I am. Ekdal with the throw in. Ajapong. Don't, my friend. Don't remember all those good times. That one good season at Cessna we had together. Don't. Don't be doing that. Muslera is old as dirt. I didn't, I didn't realise how long how long he'd actually been at Galatasaray. I think since like 2011? 2010? Something like that. And is that a penalty, my friend? A referee? A referee? A right? If we have another VAR decision, it's a no penalty. That's three in one day and two in a video. Oh, it is a penalty. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> okay, I didn't even get to change the penalty taker then, but you better score it, Eunice Belanda. He's been he's been at Galatasaray for quite a while as well. Oh, you flipping. Yeah, you... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 2-1, he's it, he decided to add, it didn't let me change it, it didn't let me change it, it's not fair, you didn't, you didn't, nobody listened, 
I don't have that authority yet. I thought I had the authority. I don't. We've got long throwing though. You know what? Some things just stay the same. Me and my long throw-ins. I'll tell you something. My corners and my long throw-ins, they've been working absolute wonders. Even in Turkey, nothing's changed. In fact, they're probably working even better. I think in the uh, in the kind of European Cup competitions, um, they were working so well. I think, <laughs> I think one of the centre-backs got a hat-trick. <laughs> One of the centre backs, either two goals or a hat trick just from long throw ins and corner kicks. And like you've saw you've seen us play Oh, we nearly scored again. You've seen us play those teams that we've had to qualify against. I think it was Bordeaux, some Chirac and who else was it? That's great team that Tony the Tiger um kind of Yeah, we played that team where Tony the Tiger had his little cameo. Who was it? And regardless. Anyway, but we've... Troy... Squawk! Troy. Oh, what a flipping sliding tackle that was. Lyko Giannis. What a sliding tackle that was, my friend. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. I can't even be mad at it. That was ridiculous. Troy's got it again, though. Back to Emery. Into Belhanda. Who's found Troy. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Who's found Ali. Who's found... Uh, was nearly popped the ball by kicking it to someone holding some pyro and let's see this game out it'll be a big three points if you can secure this a big big three points because they're a decent they're a decent team i don't think they've been kind of quite up there with your fenerbahce's besiktas's within the last seasons but it's still still a good win away from home if we can hold on to this or we can sneak another one they've got the ball on the edge of our box here though i don't know what what Peter was trying to do there. Free kick to us. Cool. I'll take it. Oh, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And time's trickling away and we've got a last minute free kick. Anyone? Nope. Don't. Oh boy. boy. Hey. Hey. I'll have a less. Great. Peter. <laughs> Cracking. Cracking stuff. He put his body on the line for Galatasaray. You cut him open, he bleeds red and yellow. Galatasaray. You should as well. That that's, that probably won't be good if he bled red and yellow. Hmm. Regardless, put his man. Put his. He put his man. On, he didn't put his man on the line. He put his body on the line for the club that he loves. What a man! I respect it. I respect the hustle. I respect the grind. Throw the ball, Lato, mate. There we go. Three wins from three. Nine points and just one team ahead of us. Solid effort from the boys. Absolutely solid effort. I think I forgot to mention when I at the beginning of the video, but the plans that they want for us this season is to reach the first knockout round of the Euro Cup 2, which we're going to get to the group stage. We've done that, and I can't believe the only one the first knockout round that's, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing to be fair. Galatasaray should probably be in, in the Champions League, so this Euro Cup 2 should be a bit of a doddle. Um, they want us to challenge for the Super League, so I'll be up and around. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like if I don't win the, the you know, this Turkish Super League, it's a failure of a season. Just because I feel like our strength in depth is absolutely solid. We've made those kind of adjustments when with the transfers that you've seen, and it just put us head and shoulders above everyone else. I feel anyway. Uh, they want us to reach the final of the Turkish Cup, and then they want us next season to win the Super League. So I'm happy with kind of everything that the boards put forward. They give me some money to play with. It's time for me to repay them. So yeah, that was a good win, and I don't. I think I've been looking at this, and it looks like in Turkey you get given money after every single win or game that you play. I'm, I'm yet to lose, so I don't know how big kind of the rewards are gonna be, but that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. So yeah, like I mentioned, I'll play this. I was gonna bring it, but there's kind of no point because we slapped the mate one, and the video is gonna be nine ninety minutes long. So yeah, I'll play that and then we'll come back for the the group stage draw. The group stage draw and we'll see who we've got in the uh the Euro Cup 2 group stages. So I will see you in a jiffy. Yeah, it wasn't quite the 8-1 that we played out in Cyprus. It was a game of uh set pieces. <laughs> so you see they took the lead there with their little to be fair, it was a really nice goal. Uh, but so was our reply there with Emin Byram and pretty much another 
carbon copy goal <laughs> with uh, with Byram again. So two one comfortable. Here it is. Here it is. The Euro Cup two group stage draw, and we're a seeded team. Apparently, we're in the second seed. So there's some. It looks like this. <laughs> it looks like there's some really really strong teams in this. Uh, this kind of draw for I don't even know how it works. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't got a flipping clue how this works. So let's just go along with it and let's draw all these first teams out and then see who we get. So we're in this round now. I don't really want Tottenham. <laughs> I don't really want Tottenham. So let's see who we get. Right, we don't have Tottenham. Uh, Frankfurt. Where are we Frankfurt? We are with Frankfurt. Okay, let's let's blast for Red Star and Dynamo. Ooh, oh, could be some uh, trouble there. Cluj, Legia. So the next set of teams, Midtjyllands, have been brought in with Genk and Tottenham, who's in our group. Zoria, Zoria, Zoria from the Ukraine. Let's blast for it again. Let's see who everyone else gets. And the last set of teams, who do you want? I don't think it really... Oh, Hibernian? Let's go, let's... Hibs. Let's get some Hibs action here. Get Hibs. Oh, we get Levski. We get a bit of Levski, so we're doing a bit of a... bit of a tour of Ukraine, Bulgaria, and Germany. I feel like we should be able to get all of that relatively comfortably. I don't see why that should be an issue, other than, you know, Frankfurt, who are... You know the dominant team in that where they finish seventh, tenth. I mean, even Frankfurt, we should be able to kind of squeeze past Frankfurt as far as I kind of can see. But yeah, I'm 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 not gonna lie, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that group. So Galatasaray, Zoria, Levski, Sofia, and Eintracht Frankfurt, and we play these games when then <laughs> we play them then. So we've got Zoria the first game. And then after that, we got Frankfurt and then Levski. The next game that I'm coming back for, you already know, baby. Fenerbahce. I can't, I can't not come back for that. I can't not come back for Fenerbahce. So next game is going to be Fenerbahce. And maybe we can double it up with the Frankfurt game. We'll see. We'll see. But definitely coming back for that Fenerbahce game. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of... Galatasaray episode one I don't know how to title it episode one episode 31 of carry on uh, I don't know I'll see I'll see either way I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you for Fenerbahce come on Gala in a bit <laughs>